and up to speed here. This game is called Banana Ball. We have nine rules. Rule number one, every inning counts. If you win the inning, you get a point. How do you win an inning? You score more runs than the other team. First team to five points wins. Number two, there's a two hour time limit. When we hit the two hours, boom, it's over. Unless there's a tie. And then it goes to our one-on-one -on -one showdown. Pitcher versus hitter with only one fielder. The pitcher has to stop the hitter or the hitter has to score. Number four, there's no bunting. Bunting sucks. We're eliminating it. All right, swing the bat. Next rule, you can steal first. If a pitcher throws a wild pitch, I don't care what count it is. All right, hit or take off. Number six, there are no walks. Walks are now sprints. On ball four, the hitter takes off to first. He can advance to as many bases as he wants, while the catcher has to throw the ball to every single position player before it becomes live. Now it's this exciting play of the ball going around the field and the batter going into second or third or maybe a home run when the ball got away. Number seven, batters cannot step out of the batter's box. Batters take too much time doing whatever they do. You step out, it's a strike. Next rule, no mound visits. Coach does a slow little walk out to the mound. He's just delaying the game. Fans don't need that. We're done with that. And finally, what's the most fans first rule you could have? Well, let the fans actually play. If a fan catches a foul ball, it's an out. Everyone's trying to be a part of the game. Now fans can be. Boy, it is getting late quick here in Savannah, Georgia. You take a look at historic Grayson Stadium. The Bananas walked off the first and second innings, and the party animals had failed to push a run across until that top of the sixth, the big three spot. If they can hold the Bananas to less than three runs here in the bottom half, then they will net their first point of the game and cut the Bananas' lead in half just like that. Here is Dakota Stilts Albritton, who is at the dish when Malachi flashed the kid Mitchell, was caught between second and third. He had a 2-0 count, never took off the five-foot stilts, back out there to lead off the bottom of the sixth inning. It's gonna be 10-1-2 with Bill Leroy on deck and David Meadows in the hole. Now a trick pitch, Austin Elliott hands off to Sam Claycamp, and that one stroked but foul. It's just about as good a lumber as we've seen from Dakota Albritton, part of Elville, Alabama, so far in his young Bananas career. He was nine years old when he got his first pair of stilts. Swings it like no one we've ever seen before. Tried out in 2021 for the Banana Ball premier team the One City World Tour. Which ended up being two games in Savannah, two games in Mobile, Alabama. Now a 2-2 pitch. And that is a liner into center field. Splits has to get on his horse because he's barreling towards first. The throw is offline, and miracles do indeed happen, folks. You better believe. Dakota Stilts Albritton has lined his first base hit in his bananas career. The batting average goes from all zeros to 250, just like that. He's one for four lifetime. Bobby Barrels and company fired up. Boy, he can move on those stilts. But even with Greeland Almodova coming in to play just behind second base instead of in center, and Trey Vanderpool, who has come in for Christian Avant in right, cutting over. He still had a chance to throw out Dakota. And it was high. Sam Claycamp didn't have a chance to make the catch and keep the foot on the bag. And what a beautiful moment. Wow. Malachi Mitchell.